So we're going to start off uh, starting from left to right, as the fellow says. Um, down the left, uh, he's retired, he's out of the game now, but we were wondering what he's at. Dan Shanahan, Dan, uh, poor old Ryan the wire there is on the water and uh, trying to mind himself, but you're out of the game. Uh, how are things? You're not wishing you were back hurling with water for this year? Not this year, Paul, no. I'm still on the water, but I can. No, not this year. I'm enjoying the time. Very good. I've been in the effort over the years, so I know it's a nice team in the effort, so I'm trying to sit back and relax and watch the games, huh? Yeah, and what, what, at this time of the year, lads are gearing up, or have they worked on, or? Should have worked on, to be honest, yeah, um, during the winter, just to find out. The end of the year, they're all training for because the warm weather's come in, uh, the, the hard ground, the fastball, and that's what the lads train for during the winter for, for days like next Sunday. You're still fit looking, girls, what do you think? Thanks very much, girls. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, Dan, I think moving quickly on from that. Um, right on the wire, um, are you thinking about training at the moment to review your homework done? Um, yeah, we're in the take of it now. Unfortunately, for the it doesn't matter about the next game for me. Uh, well, we want to win, but I won't be playing in four hours. Spend it again, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> so, what was I was saying, really, doesn't it? Um, um, but that was, you were saying that that was over the Sunday game, we played footage and things like that at the time. I, I think it was Sheedy playing for that. Yeah, we're in the thick of it now, um, training hard. They get stepped up an awful lot now since the end of the league. Um, we kinda, a lot of people said last year we peaked very early. Um, and I think our, our management team took that on board this year. I think they, they had things just tape a little bit that we maintain ourselves during the league because it was fairly hectic during the league and it was week after week. Um, now that the championship is there, you see where you go to train in the evenings, it's bright, you come home, it's bright, and just that championship league, and things have definitely have picked up. So the man introduced to senior hurling, Martin Sylvia Lenan, and survived uh, the experience. Um, how are things with you, Michael? Uh, you miss this time of year yourself when you're hurling, maybe training, or? Are you happy to just sit in the no, box? Never, no, no, let me finish my question, Michael, sorry. Um, are you happy to just um, sit in the box and take your five grand every weekend and there and watch them? Sit, sit, Well, the first thing I said about you should know all about sitting in there and getting five grand. <laughs> At least I did it. Oh. I'm a number 16 Crossbow Cup medal now, but before you start. Uh, but how are things, Michael? Um, yeah, would, you, would you, would you know what I mean? I don't miss it this stage. I missed it for the first few years uh, after, you know, I kept for a long time. And uh, everyone says I gave it up to you, and we 15 years there. And I probably could have played on for another couple of years, but I'm gone 10 years now. So it's a new game, new generation. I'm delighted to be still involved. And I'm delighted to be getting through Bob because things are tough and it's great. Uh, Thanks to the Irish Swan and Mike tomorrow morning. And I'm again. Oh, sorry, Paul. <laughs> but uh, no, it's um, it's it's great to be it's great to be still involved. I think you know, hurling changes, time has changed. We're still a great game, and um, Ryan is looking to be still playing. But all of us have played the game. It was a great, it was a great pose about playing in the county hurling and being involved. And I suppose the only thing sad is that it's gone very one dimensional. All the problems for Kenny or Tip or Cork, or, you know, it's gone like that cup is in front of me. I don't know why it is, but it's 14 years since. We won the other night yet, no one has won it since outside the top three. And that saddens me a little bit because I, and I think all this talk about uh, can Kenny be dirty and Kenny be this and that, like, why don't that stand up and be counted and get stuck into it? So yeah, 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 yeah. I think Dublin might have that plan a little bit, but yet, yeah, Ryan, you have to do it in the rule book. <laughs> 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 Okay, before you say it, I didn't know anything, but I wasn't caught that often. Um, so, look, look, it's great It's great to be involved. I love this time of the year, getting ready for the championship again. Uh, great balls around the place, and huge matches to look forward to, like starting with Tip and Limerick. And in the old days, that would be great. Be a, if we wanted Tip, it would be terrified of the Limerick Halls had a good record against but you know, probably go along the normal lines next week. But anyway, look, things are good. The hurling is starting, and we're here in Copper tonight. And today's one of your books. Liam Sheedy, uh, Liam, uh, you had an incredible hurling career. Um, 
support role and for the county and uh, obviously you know you're out of management now for a while. Do you miss the management side of things or the hurling side of things or? Ah yeah, it's a huge buzz. Um, I think no matter what you do, you know, after stopping playing, you know, the honour of managing your own county is a huge honour, but there's a real buzz, obviously the first Sunday in September going up and down that sideline it's uh, it's fairly big adrenaline kick I can tell you. So uh, when you step away from the course you're gonna miss it and even Last year I found the final probably a tough day, you know, when you're wondering and advising stadium of where they are and how we're getting on and how we're feeling now and uh, you know of course of course you'd miss it but the reality is as Michael says, you know, it is a it is a tough time, it's strange times and intercounty management nowadays is a full time job. Um, that's a fact, you know, it's currently thirty five hours a week, that's how much time it takes. You know, if you're trying to plot the downfall of the top teams, that's what you gotta put into it and uh, that's the downside of it we get to see, you know, you have to had to had to walk away but I've probably been involved in tip seven of the last ten years, so, you know, I've, I've given it a good, a good run, I got a good, I got a good innings, I was happy enough, I got a minor and senior out of it, so, you know, it's not a bad time to get out. Gordon Manning, uh, I don't want to embarrass your four lads by telling them you're hurling uh, credentials and records, so, <laughs> we'll leave that where it is for the moment, uh, Gordon, but, um, you're out there, like diving in the soft job in the press box there, just looking at things there, one thing and another every weekend, how do you see the championship unfolding this year, Gordon, along familiar lines, or? Yeah, um, I think there seems to be an acceptance with a lot of counties that it's either Kilkenny or Tipton win it this year, and you've counties like Clare, Galway, Limerick, even maybe even Cork to an extent. It seems to be looking two or three years down the line, um, and they've almost given up the ghost on, on this year and maybe even next year, it's either Kilkenny or Tips. But the lads are all about the Liam McCarthy, uh, only having a couple of winners in the last few years. In Leicester uh, alone, Kilkenny have won the 12 in the last 13 in Leicester. The dictatorship and lost since 2004, so uh, that's an incredible record. There's probably no record, probably no record like that anywhere in Europe in sport. Dan Shanahan, I was talking to a man earlier on, he was telling me that um, some lads, him, him in particular, he never hears the crowd that he's always concentrating on, uh, you know, what's in the hand or you know, the, the racing hand or whatever. What about you? Um, did you ever get big game nerves or how did you prepare for big games? Yeah. It was a long time I didn't get nervous before a big game, you know, and uh, it's how we deal with it, you know, and every fight is different. Uh, so every, every, every person is different. But I did work for that, but I was only just after the accident twice. He did pop with all these legs, and you know, every fight is different to get psyched up, but, you know, and I just. I was sorry to ask you, did you, did you get someone else to do it for me, or would you do it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he do it himself. Every fight is different. And what's the dressing room like, say on a big match day, all Ireland final, Munster final day? Like, is it crazy? Is it calm? Is there shouting roaring? Or is there banging hurries off walls? Or what way? Leave it daily to the side for the moment. Like, what way would it normally be just. There'll be a mixture of whatever, you know, there's one fellow be, as I said, be dining tables, you know, and the other fellow be just sitting on the corner, just be like, I don't know, whatever it is. Um, and same half time, I mean, you're, you're coming in at half time, you might be five <laughs> points up, five points down. How do, how do you know, county teams plan for the turnaround after the break then? Like, is there some fellow there saying, look, we need to switch here, or do you just have a cup of tea and say, lads, lift it in the second half? How scientific is it at half time in trying to pull a game around or close it up? Yeah, it depends. If we came in zero hit, I'm going to find it. Said lads, we want to get the bus home. Get the bus home. Yeah. Yeah. The all in tickets were upstairs, they're pretty good. I know uh, it, was, it was easy that, that day. But it depends how you're going, Paul, to be honest with you. If you're playing well, you'll keep everything nice and easy. If you're not. Was it the way the history in that game that now, Paul? Was it the way the tradition and thinking about. I just think we make it Kenya an awesome day that you know, and we prepare properly for it. Our tactics can all put them spot on, to be honest with you. And on the day, like, you know, and. We got them wrong, and we met a Kilkenny team that just absolutely destroyed us by them. Hard to pull the game around, Michael. You're going to come in there. Well, like, just on all those questions you asked, a lot of it just happens. Like, you're in a dressing room, you have 15 different people, or 20 or 30. They're all completely different. Uh, you have, as Dan was saying, you have lads that love bright readings in around dressing room, absolutely psyched up to the last, hitting tables, talking to themselves, driving around. Then they go to the field, and he was so calm, it was unbelievable. They did lads that were very calm and dressed and they'd go mad out in the field. Like it, there was no, there was no, no sense hard of, fast route. There was no hard and fast route. I, I got a fairly 
ground and experience uh, from my father when I was born up in 1988. I was, we were playing Galway in that Ireland semi final. I was 19 and I was playing midfield. And I was very nervous. And I, got, I got up and I went to first mass and I, I wasn't feeling great. And came home, my mother made a bit of breakfast. And my father's from Connemara and he's a quiet man. My mother would be like yourself, she'd be talking away. And she was yapping away across the table. My father was sitting reading the paper. And I wasn't fit. Scrambled egg and the National River does and I wasn't so I got up and I went out the back and I came back in. I was kind of rooting around and the next thing father's reading about he dropped the paper down and he said, What's wrong with you? <laughs> and I said, just that it's not feeling great. I said, I, I, I just my stomach and then he says, Eat up, he says, There's no man can out in the middle of the car park making a fool out of yourself and being hungry as well. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best crack you had in the dressing room, serious or otherwise? That was the best crack. <laughs> that was the way it was. Tell you about the dressing room. Oh, I, the dressing room is a great place. Mm. So, I mean, you know, you come in, you look at the days when you come in, you say, Jesus, I'm probably going to get out of here with this one. Well, 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 if, if Waterford had Davey, Tippett, Babs, of course, you were probably playing on the Babs, did you? I think you had the best for a short time before you got rid of me, yeah? <laughs> we got the bedroom for a minute, I stepped in the door. What has he got? I don't have any reason to know if he's in the middle. Yeah! You're going to have good stories for a while. That was my manager. Very simple. He got a letter from Jimmy Barrett. That's Tommy Barrett. Tommy Barrett. He got a letter from Tommy Barrett saying, Dear Lee, your service is not going to be quite off. Yeah, that's what he said. 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 Liam was good enough to call him. Are you saying, <laughs> saying it's because of Liam which I heard him talking? <laughs> is it? Yes, <laughs> 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 it. Just like that. Good job, I'm in the middle. I heard that. 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 I just thanked him. Thank you. 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 Like every man, I think the game is. Yeah, I mean, I, I heard the guys address him no different than my team. I mean, cheese to be inside the shirt, hit the head off the wall, and like that was the done thing, you know. And he was saying, How many of them God if you want to hold the ball here? I think the modern day player, you know, a lot different, you know, don't, you don't see any of this stuff anymore. I, I, in my three years, I didn't witness any bed at the table or whatever. I mean, like you have to be in the zone to hurt, and if you're going on bed at the tables and hitting walls and hitting other things, like if you're not in the well, you might be in the zone, but you're going to soap here, you pass out the ball, and you go to pop out. Just we used to pick a Kennedy half time to pick it. It's not a beat for now. Yeah. Shots are all right. Shh. Go on, go on, get stuck in some for fuck's sake. But getting stuck in time, getting stuck in time to the shower wall is not going to make any difference. You know, it's it's cool. I never sent him to the shower wall. You have, have to get ready to go. And Winnie Tyler is here, lads, because there could be a few drops going on. We went out and met Kenny, Kenny, we didn't have to take on any shower walls or shower doors or anything else. I mean, it, like when you go out, you're, you're, you're not going to play the game inside the dressing room before you start. It's different personalities. There's some lads. Brian Whelan was the best one. I remember that day. Sure, nobody has Ryan That's the way he still be if he was hurting. He goes on nervous energy. He has to get out of the system. Yeah. He has to go out in the field. That's the individual. That's the way he is. He can't make 15 players be the very same. I agree with you. But all I'm saying is that in the 30 players that I had, there was none of them making tables or hitting walls. <laughs> or <laughs> and, and, they knew, and they knew exactly when that ball was thrown in, there was a level of intensity they had to get to if they had any chance of winning the match. It's as simple as that. <laughs> That's, that's the way it is. I, like, I, I don't believe in this. But you were happy enough to jump around the sideline and pull it through the shorts. Yeah. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Very good. Well, we're going to invite Rob Patterson up here uh, from Paddy Powers to give us uh, his verdict on Championship 2012. Rob, round of applause for Rob. How are you doing, Rob? <laughs> We have the boys here, we're going to, you're, you're giving them a, a charge bet. Yeah, 50 euro each. Um, I don't think we get them to agree on, on one between the five of them. So whatever charity Sean wants to pick, 50 euro would it be on a match, provincial or Ireland, whatever he wants. That's great, Rob. Uh, starting with you at the end, Dan. Uh, who's your money on? All Ireland, 20 pounds, the great Dan Shanahan. Hey! On the day, sir. Um, jeez, why just have to make that? <laughs> well, I'll give you a few minutes. I'll come back to Gordon. He's up to his championship preview. Gordon, championship 2012 in Hurling. Lee McCarthy. Where will the Lee McCarthy meet Gordon in September? Tipperary. Free drink for that man, Lee Sheedy. Um. <laughs> 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 um. I travel it up. Can we do travel, yeah? Yeah, we uh, Clear to be Waterford, off to be Wexford, and tip to Mandela. Oh. Um, Which I think will do well if it happens. Diamond. 
Uh, who will be the other Ireland? To Kenny? What's your verdict? I'm about 50 quid to Kenny. <laughs> well, as I say, not a price for the widows and orphans, but um, what would your challenge bet be? I think you can win. I thought Tip would win the Ireland at the start of the year, but all the has been done, they're not playing with that much spirit, I think, at the moment. Uh, but Kilkenny have huge injuries. Michael Fenley. Kilkenny and Michael Fenley are a different team. They've talked about yeah. everyone else. And especially against Dublin, I think, in the first match. Because he's so strong and he dictates the pace of the game. And he's out. Michael Rice is right out. And Killian Buckley's got. They might even have him. Where do they want to find the midfield for Dublin? For the championship? And the answer is. So, uh, sorry, so... Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just letting you have a hair appointment, I can do all the wrong. It's too bad. It's too bad to be champion for us all. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, I do a bit of a cumulator as well. I think I, I think Alfie to beat Wexford. Uh, Claire to beat Walford as well. I think uh, I think Cork to win Munster. And Kikennig to win the Alright. Or Dwyer. Um, <laughs> I guess shot. No pressure. Shanahan, Brian DeWire, Michael Dyson, Ian Sweeney, and Gordon Gary. Thank you.